Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful, so forgiving, so kind, so benevolent, that just in the Quran itself, in the book of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when He talks about His ability to forgive, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions three different attributes for Himself in terms of forgiving that come from the same root. The root word is ghafara, which literally means to cover something up. It means to forgive a sin as if it never even existed. Like it was never even there. But he says this three different ways. One place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls himself ghafiru dhamb. Ghafir, which means the one who immediately forgives. Another place Allah calls himself ghaffar. Ghaffar, the one who abundantly forgives. The one who has no limitation in terms of forgiveness. The one who can continue to forgive. No matter how much the sins might be. The third attribute is ghafur, constantly forgiving. Immediately forgiving, abundantly forgiving, constantly forgiving. That's who Allah is. That's our introduction to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, Inna rahmati wasi'at kulla shay. Allah says that most definitely my mercy, it encompasses and surrounds everything. In the rahmati sabaqat ghadabi. Allah says that my mercy in a hadith qudsi, in a sacred tradition. Allah says, you know, but it's not very hard to go and read for yourself. Read Surah Hud. Read Surah number 11. When you read Surah number 11, what you'll find is Allah talks about four or five different nations that Allah destroyed. The wrath and the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fell upon these people. It ravaged these people. It eradicated these people from the face of the earth. And when you read it, you'll, you'll feel overwhelmed. The Prophet ﷺ felt overwhelmed. The Sahaba looked at the Prophet ﷺ, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu in one narration, looks at the Prophet ﷺ and he says, Shibta ya Rasulullah. You've gotten old, O Messenger of Allah. He saw some white hairs. So he says, you've, got, you've grown old, O Messenger of Allah. And the Prophet says, Shayyabatni hud wa akhawatuha. Surat hud made me old. Surah hud made my hair, my hair go gray. Think about that. So when you read that, you're overwhelmed by reading about the wrath and the anger and the punish, punishment of Allah. And then take that into consideration how fierce, how powerful the wrath and the anger of Allah is. And then listen to this, Allah Himself says, no matter how powerful or overwhelming my wrath and my anger might be, in the rahmati sabaqat ghadabi. But my mercy, it supersedes and it overcomes my wrath and my anger. Imagine how powerful the anger of Allah is, but then imagine how powerful the mercy of Allah is, that it's more powerful than that. That's who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is.